Hello, ladies and genitals. Welcome back to my channel. Oh boy, do I have some good news for you. Wait, you, I'm putting you on my soap. Check this one out. But guess what you're on? I have two phones now. Basically because I miss daily vlogging. When I'm on the go and stuff like that, I don't want to take my camera around everywhere. It's also just like a little intimidating to have a camera like that in people's faces. And I feel like people also don't necessarily know that I'm a vlogger. A lot of my friends that I've met along the way honestly don't know that I'm a vlogger because of the fact that I haven't vlogged in a long time and uploaded anything in a long time. So why would they know that? So I decided that when my parents got me my new phone, that I would turn my old phone into a vlog phone. Great idea, right? It's just so much more convenient for me because I personally really hate when I'm out and about and I want to vlog or whatever, my phone's gonna die. Because when I'm vlogging on this all day, it drains your battery so much, then you just don't have as much battery life and then you have a dead phone and then that's not good. I know you guys miss the vlogs just as much as I do. You guys always tell me, upload more, upload more. We don't care what you upload just as long as you upload and I honestly get in my own head about making content. I'm like, I want it to be good. But I think I'm just gonna go with what you guys say for a while and just fucking upload. Why not? You know, let's just get back to where we used to be. Let's go back to the start. Ew, these are balanced on my soap right now. My like soap dispenser. And that was like literally like some like crusty soap on the outside of that. Anyways, okay, so what are we doing today? You may be wondering. I'm actually really excited because I'm flying to Arizona. Ty and I are flying to Arizona because his little siblings' birthdays are this weekend. We just want to go there, have some fun with them. Oh my god. OnlyFans.com slash Shamari Stewart. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna pack my toiletry bag right now and do like a little bit of skincare as I pack my toiletry bag and kind of just show you guys how I pack my toiletry bag and what products I really like and what products travel with me. So I wash my face in the shower, which I actually need to go grab my face wash. Like, make sure I don't forget that. Hold on. This is the face wash I use. I got this around Christmas time. Kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by Youth to the People. This changed my life. It just makes your skin so nice and clean, like in the best way. I've never experienced anything like it. And I know a lot of other people like it. So when I was out shopping for Christmas, I walked into a Sephora to get some stuff for my family members. I saw this and I was running out of the cleanser I had at the time and I was like, honestly, let's just give it a shot. I think it's time. Probably will never use another cleanser again because it's just that good. And then after I wash my face, I use niacinamide by The Ordinary. I've been using it for a really long time now, probably like a year. I think it's changed my skin so much for the better. And it's so cheap. Like I think that if you want to try something from The Ordinary, you might as well just do it because of the fact that it's actually so cheap. Like this bottle is like eight bucks and like it lasts a long time. I just think it's amazing when you find quality products for like so cheap and not gonna break your bank because I feel like a lot of times we like think that like we need to spend a lot of money to find a really good quality product but no actually you just need to find a really good quality brand that cares about their customers. After I use that I'll go in with hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. I have found that hydrating my skin has made it so much better. I don't get oily anymore. My skin is so normal. I have one massive breakout right now that I'm actually really upset about and I'm so sorry for coming back to you guys with a zit like this. I know you guys love me for who I am. Aww. After that, I literally just use moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer, I've talked about this before, Prevention 32 Plus Daily Matte Moisturizer Oil Free 32 SPF by Image Skincare. This stuff is so amazing. I like using this in the day, but I actually recently got a nighttime moisturizer that I really, really like that I'll tell you guys about. I like this moisturizer because it smells good, but it's not like fragrancy. It just smells nice and clean. It's like thick and creamy, it has SPF, so I don't have to like apply SPF. On top of that, a lot of SPF moisturizers or SPF in general really like make you white cast and me being like black <laughs> makes me so much whiter than I should be when I use SPF. So this really absorbs into the skin so well. If you don't like the way I'm like tugging around on my face, mind your business. When I moisturize my face, I honestly like give myself a little bit of a massage. I know that kind of stuff's really good for your skin. I don't like sit there and like intentively my man's calling, hold on. I was so scared because Ty's at his right now and I guess he didn't sleep last night, literally at all. But I was really worried because last time we flew to Arizona, on my behalf, we missed two flights in a row and he was really not happy about it. And I was really in the wrong and it really stirred the pot a little bit. This time I make sure to get up at 8 a.m. Our flight's at two and I like packed my bag, like finished up a little bit of laundry, like I'm gonna go ship some Depop. Depop.com slash Amari Stewart. You guys have so many great clothes. Yeah, I just really didn't want to miss his flight. So then he said he was gonna wake up at like 10 something 
because we need to leave for the airport at like noon. And I was calling him and I was really, really, really afraid that he wasn't going to wake up because I don't know. He's a really heavy sleeper and just gets really scary. And he sleeps through alarms so easily, but I guess he didn't sleep. Where were we? The moisturizer. I love this thing. It's so amazing for daytime. I really recommend it to you guys. I wouldn't recommend you guys products that weren't good because of the fact that I've gone through so many trials and tribulations when it comes to skincare. The nighttime moisturizer I really like that I just ran out of. Suede Brooks showed this to me. Super Rich Repair by Dermalogica. And when they say Super Rich Repair, they really mean like super rich in two different ways because this shit's like $96, <laughs> but it's also a very rich cream. You need literally one pump for your whole face and neck. It's definitely worth it though for like a nighttime moisturizer. I wouldn't use it two times in one day because it is really hydrating, but it's definitely something that's really good for your skin at night. It doesn't say specifically for night, but that's what I use it for. And I feel like if I used it twice a day, I'd get really upset with myself because I'd run out of it so much faster and I'd just be depressed. Or at least my bank account would be. Okay, and then because I have this giant honker on my face. Oh my God, it's so bad. I mean, it looks worse on camera. It's not good. It's not good. A long time ago, I went and got a facial somewhere and I found this SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. It was just a sample they gave to me and I just found it like two days ago and I was like, wait, this is perfect for like now. One, two, three. Four, let's do four, because she's coming in hot. It spreads really easily. SkinCeutical products are just really good. And I don't really put it all over my face. I kind of just put it like on the zit. Ooh, I don't even want to like press on it too hard. I'm getting like scared. And then I have like some breakout on my forehead, but the breakout on my forehead's nothing in comparison to the honker of a continent that's on my cheek. And I'm so annoyed because I'm gonna see Ty's family today. And it's just gonna be so embarrassing. Like obviously they're not gonna judge me. They don't give a shit if I have a zit on my face, but like it's huge. It's not just like a zit, it's a zit. I'm bringing the Curology Night Cream because I like to use it as a spot treatment at night because it's really like, medicated. Honestly, I don't use it ever anymore. I really like grew out of it. My skin grew out of it, honestly, but whenever I get really, really bad zits like this, I'll just like use it as a spot treatment as opposed to putting it all over my face like I used to because my face used to be blasted as we know. Let's talk about these. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Miss Starface Pimple Patches, the Hydrocolloid Stars. These things, I think they suck ass. I do, but I will say they are effective in terms of getting you to not touch your zit and not get bacteria in it and like maybe get some sort of ingredient on it. They're literally just so cute that it like makes having a zit cute and less embarrassing. Anyone that says that these work for them, I just really don't believe them. And I'm so sorry to Starface because they actually, they sent this stuff to me. They sent me a lot of products. So I haven't tried their other products, so I can't really speak on those. See, it just <laughs> makes it a little bit cuter and it makes it very obvious that I have a zit that I'm trying to cover, but you can't see the whole zit. So it's like, oh, he's got a little star on his face, whatever. Bring deodorant with you everywhere you go. Obviously, I've been using this deodorant for like 10 years. I'm not even kidding. This exact same deodorant just is amazing. Every other deodorant breaks me out. So as you guys can see, my hair is all brown again. Sorry for never addressing that with you guys. Honestly, I never even said anything. I just all of a sudden didn't have blonde hair anymore. Having the blonde hair was just getting a little irritating to maintain. My curls just weren't like amazing. And I was just like, ugh, I hate like when it grows back and the roots start showing. And it's just like, it's an expensive upkeep. I feel for girls and all their hair problems. So I was just like, let's just go back brown for a while. And like, honestly, I haven't been brown for a long time. I feel like it makes me look kind of mature. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But then what, the second I was like back to brown, everyone like loved it so much. What I didn't like about having brown hair was before is the fact that I didn't have like a hair routine. I didn't have anything to make my curls look nice. Like it was just like afro on top, you know? Like that's really all it was because I have very thick ethnic hair. So I didn't really have anything that like defined my curls. But recently I got into hair products. So Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. I love this shit. So basically what I do is I have my damp hair. I use like about that much. I don't know if I'm using too much or not enough. You guys let me know in the comments below if you know anything about hair. I literally just run through my hair. Let it get all up in there. I only do it on the top because I don't really want my sides to curl up. I kind of like to like brush my sides down. And I run my fingers through and I kind of like scrape and scrape and like rub it in and kind of just get messy with it that way like the hair itself curls up I actually think it's so much healthier for my hair too because I'm actually like feeding my hair like things that are good for it and oils and my scalp's not dry and my hair's not dry and it doesn't look awful and I'm really happy I decided to like give this a shot just because of the fact that having blonde hair was exhausting having my natural hair is not and then after that I'll go ahead and use same moisture coconut oil daily hydration nourishing 
packaging, it's coming off. It's coming off. But I like this stuff. I use like three pumps. I think the oil itself just contributes to the health of my hair. If you guys have any curly hair products you'd like to recommend for boys, go ahead and let me know. I like to use this Vanish PFB Chroma Bright Roller Ball. I'll use this either like after shaving. That's really good at preventing razor bumps and it's just like never, ever, ever had such a smooth shave in my entire life. Sometimes I'll use it on like a zit like this, like at night. One thing that stays in my travel bag is this Manscaped little like case thing. I showed you guys this in like my last video actually, I believe, because it was like a sponsored video, but I think it's great for travel. There's tweezers, there's nail clippers, there's like some scissors of some sort, there's like a picky thingy, and I just think it's necessary to bring with you when you travel. So it stays in my travel toiletry bag. My toothbrush, really dirty, but I love this toothbrush. Cologne. I have a series of colognes now. I've become a cologne guy. I've gotten sent quite a few actually, which is really cool and I would never expect from like high-end brands. Right now, I think I'm gonna bring Giorgio Armani My Way. They're small too, so it means it can like easily fit in my toiletry bag. This stuff is amazing. I think they're the same ones, just a little more intense. And I'm bringing the intense because I gotta smell good everywhere I go. You already know, don't question it. So yeah, that's it. That's what goes into my travel bag. Maybe I'll show you guys my suitcase. Maybe not, I haven't decided. My parents also got me this travel bag for Christmas. It's kind of nice and cute. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed now. I'll see you in the next clip. Who knows what we'll be doing? Okay, now we're in my car. I'm actually so proud of myself because I managed to get ready, wake up at eight, drop off Depop. I just dropped off Depop, went to the smoke shop because as we all know, I have a little bit of a nicotine problem. So sorry, don't encourage you to do that. And now I'm going back home and I'm just gonna throw my laptop in my suitcase and I'm ready to go. Like, oh my God. Also look at the skin glow. This is not a good angle at all. I'm gonna get a phone mount for my car. I'm really, really, really digging this whole vlog phone vibe, you guys. This is sick as fuck. Stupid boy making me so sad. Forget you. Okay, forget me too. I miss you more than life. Look who it is, Vloggy. We made it past security. We just both swam double shot Moscow mules. We have to take a shuttle to our plane, which is actually really fucking annoying because I prefer to just walk on the plane like right then and there, very last second. I want to get my drinks in, I want to get my food in. I'm literally starving. When we get off the plane, we're gonna go eat, drink, yeah. You would think that we're walking onto a fucking jet, but we're not. We're walking onto a Delta fucking flight. Love Delta though, even though the guy at the fucking TSA was a dick. Okay, so it's officially the next day. I think I'm gonna prop you up on the cure bottle. How do we like that? It's working really well. Okay, so update on the mountain that is on my face. It's starting to go flat, as you can see, which is <laughs> so disgusting. It's kind of like scabbing, which is really unfortunate because of the fact that I tried popping it. I've got some action going on here now, which is so amazing. I just put some stuff on that. I just got ready. So yesterday, we didn't really do much. We went to dinner. Ty, his older sister, and his dad and I, we all went to dinner at this Mexican restaurant. Really, really good food and really, really cute place. We came home. It was like a two-hour drive from Phoenix down here to Flagstaff. So that was just like exhausting from traveling. We hadn't really slept. I was running on like four hours of sleep in 48 hours. Ty was running on like actually zero. Once we got home, we literally just passed out. So now it's officially the next day. I'm also sad because I didn't get to show you guys my airport fit. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that, but I got a compliment on my outfit in the airport yesterday. It was actually this Daniel Patrick set, which is like so iconic because it was gifted to me, which is insane. Would never expect Daniel Patrick to want me to come in the store, pick out some things. I feel like Daniel Patrick's not one of those really, really, really well-known brands. Brands, but it's one of those brands that like if you're walking around and someone sees it like if you know you know it's one of those things it's very exclusive everything exclusive everything expensive today we're gonna go visit a baby because ty's cousin just had a baby babies kind of scare me because they're just so little and fragile i'm the exact opposite i'm a walking chaos i don't know what's gonna happen and then i don't know what we're doing tonight but here's the fit so my mom made it matching set corduroy it's actually really cute too i really like this set a lot this will probably be the last time i ever wear this set because I've worn it quite a few times, so this set will actually be on my Depop. I'm gonna change this necklace for some pearls because I feel like pearls fit the vibe more. This necklace currently I have on is from Shop Gold. Oh wait, and look at this. It's fucking snowing. It's a Christmas miracle. Do I go outside? Probably not. And then Ty's doing school. If anyone knows how to write an APA format essay, let us know. Or if you just want to write the essay for him, hit him up. That'd be perfect. He will pay. Fat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> to complete the fit, I've got these shoes from a brand I literally don't no, what? Oh, it's actually, it's December 32nd. The laces are like 3M, like if you take a picture of them with flash. Honestly, I'd never wear these shoes because this is the only outfit I have that goes with. So honestly, I might put these shoes on Depop as well, or I should just get some clothes that go with it, but I don't know. Maybe like if someone wants to wear all of this together, depop.com slash Shamari Stewart. I don't know, I'll think about selling the shoes. I'm not sure, but I have nothing else to wear them with, so that's just sad. <laughs> 
For a couple shots deep, this is Olivia, one of Ty's Hi. best friends. Hey, and then we've got Miss Sophie over here. Hello. We're hitting the town, ladies. We've taken a couple shots and we're going downtown. Wish us luck. Maybe I'll meet some of you guys down there because last time I was here, I met a couple of you guys down there. Pray for us. <laughs> Look at this dainty little waist. <laughs> Do you want to sit on this fan? And do you want to call this lace? Okay, Lance is here, our driver. Bye. Oh, we decided nice. actually upon one more shot before we leave. We have Let me just prop you guys up. Oh my god, this is getting real ghetto real fast. Cheers to Flagstaff, baby. Cheers. Cheers. This is not going down well. All right, now pray for us. Let's hope your prayers work, because we're going down. Hey, sure. It is officially the next day. I hope you all prayed for us, because our livers are actually doing pretty good today. Something really bad happened last night, and let's just say something needs to be replaced. Stat. We're going to figure things out. We're going to prosper. We're going to thrive. Very grateful. I have a giant zit on my forehead, as you guys can see, so that's good. Yes, I do have chapstick. It's Laneige. This video is sponsored by Laneige. Watermelon sleep. <laughs> I can't even do a fake brand deal right now. Oh my god. Might have lost a brain cell last night. Hack for everyone with dry, crusty lips if you travel a lot too. Weather change, all that stuff. The Laneige sleeping mask, amazing. I just use it as a chapstick. I mean, I'll put it on before bed too, but like that thing just throughout the day. Mm, and it honestly tastes so good, I wanna fucking eat it. I got this giant zit on my forehead. It's really coming to fruition. It's coming to the top. And I'm just really not happy about that because I have to see his family, maybe meet some new people, probably meet some new people. Like what, and I'm just like, why do I have to meet new people looking like this? Like, I don't always look at this. Go look at my Instagram. You're so absurd. <laughs> it's his little sister Addie's birthday. Happy birthday, little queen. I know you're never gonna watch this. You're Hopefully, you don't well. ever see my YouTube channel. She's actually so so cute and I honestly think she's gonna like, gonna grow up and like be a little vlogger because she loves to just like take videos and like literally like talk to the camera like she's a vlogger who knows maybe one day she'll be a multi-millionaire it's her birthday two of us. <laughs> we're going to a bowling alley I'm okay at bowling I wouldn't say I'm like amazing but I think I'm like fairly ass. good go ahead and place your bets down below in the comments as to who you think's gonna win I'm just here for the beer here for the beer here for the beer and the uh, mozzarella sticks and shit like that you know I'm shoving a mozzarella stick up my Hello everyone, so it's currently the next day. Yesterday we did bowling, obviously. It was actually really funny seeing all these like little kids bowling. There was like literally 20, like six, seven year olds throwing balls down these lanes. And I'm just like looking at them like, first of all, how are you even doing this? Like doesn't the ball weigh literally as much as you? And then we ended up watching the fight at Ty's dad's house last night, the UFC fight. It was like Maz Duval, Maz Duval, whatever versus Covington. I wish I was able to like vlog while I was like bowling, but I was like living in the moment. And also like, we we're trying to get the games done like pretty quickly, like in a timely manner. So I didn't want to just like be vlogging and everything, you know. Today is what I'm actually really, really, really excited about because we're going to a safari zoo called Out of Africa. It's like an hour away from Flagstaff. It's like this zoo where you can literally get in like a van and like go on like a little safari and there's like zebras and... Hello? 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 That was scary. It's like zebras and lions and giraffes and jaguars and panthers and stuff. I'll show you guys a lot of that because I'm really excited about that. Today I found out that my dad sliced his finger off at work. Not his whole finger, but like a decent amount of it, like at the tip. There's nothing they can do. They can't sew it back on. They just have to like gauze it up and let it heal because I don't know. For some reason, they can't sew it back on. That's some interesting news to wake up to. Oh my god, poor guy. I want to tell you guys something or show you guys something. So if you know me, if you've been watching me for however long, you know I hate coffee. I don't like drinking coffee. It makes me feel sick. It makes me sweat. I don't like coffee at all. Here at Ty's mom's house, she's a Keurig, the fancy one with like the milk frother. I was looking through the K-Cups and I see this like awake breakfast black tea by like Tazo. If you know anything about me, I love tea. Any type of tea just in general too. I love tea. It's not big on chai tea though. It's okay. So I was like, I want to make a latte. Let's get creative. What I've really been enjoying lately at Starbucks is an iced green tea latte with oat milk, two scoops of matcha, two pumps of vanilla, and two pumps or scoops of the strawberry puree. You guys need to try it. It is so good. So I was like, okay, I'm going to like try and make a latte. I want to like try something fun. I take the cake up, I throw it in the Keurig. 10 ounces of this black tea, and then I stir in honey while it's still hot for some like natural sweetener because it just sounded like it would make the drink really good. Throw that in the freezer so it gets cold fast. Give it like 20 minutes, let it get really cold. This is where things get fun. Today, what I decided to do, put the milk in the milk frother, put some cinnamon in the milk, froth it up, 
up. And then you have like some like cinnamon pulp foam type of situation. Pour it in and behold. Well, now it's like almost empty. It's so good. You guys need to try it. Unfortunately, it was regular milk, but I don't really mind it. I don't really like consuming regular milk. It just doesn't sit right with me. You guys have to try it. I think I really just did something big for the curing community. So my outfit today. So this is a zip up jacket. It's actually really cool because it zips all the way up if you wanted to. Obviously, I'm never going to do that. Couldn't tell you what's on the front, but it's from Saints Culture. Black, white feeder. Then I've got these jeans. Let's say tragic all over them. They're from Ragged Denim. Okay, I might switch from the pearls to the shop gold chain, but I'm not sure. Kind of liking the pearls. Jumping has me out of breath. One, I'm a little out of shape because I haven't exercised in a long time. Two, the elevation here in Flagstaff is like so different than LA, so you get winded a lot faster. I remember when we went to Breckenridge, Colorado last Christmas, like as a squad, everyone like couldn't breathe. You'd walk up and down the stairs and you'd be winded because the elevation really just like really makes it hard to breathe. So yeah. Also the tip of my tongue. You can't really see it, but I ate a lot of sour skittles the other day and sour skittles obviously make my tongue like go raw, but the taste buds at the tip of my tongue are like all fucked up. They're like white and swollen and they hurt so bad. This needs to go. We're coming back to Arizona too in like two weeks for a wedding. So I'm gonna clear all this up, get a nice haircut and look bomb at the wedding. Okay, love you guys. We made it to the zoo, we're out of Africa. Hey. This is what it looks like. Apparently we're gonna go feed some tigers. And I'm really scared because I feel like, I don't know, it's gonna eat my arm. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. I haven't even been inside and I already love it. So if you're ever in Arizona, you gotta hit up out of Africa. It's his birthday, he's really excited. Look at his jacket. His little jacket. So cute. Oh my God, it's a giraffe. It's like the one in Madagascar. Okay, I'm not even kidding. We're about to feed a tiger. It's over there. I got the little ticket. It's a lemur. Oh, Nice. Got a warthog over here. It's Pumba. That one's me. Is Timon a lemur? No. No. Timon's a Pumba. <laughs> what? You're kidding. Look at that. This is Ty and I after a night out at the club. Now I know you guys remember these hyenas from The Lion King. All right, I'm gonna get out of the cage. Let's continue walking. <laughs> Excuse Let's keep me. Going. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> when I was in a mood today. I'm scared. Wow. Hello. Okay. Let's not do that. Stop. You can't trigger the lion. You know that lion's strong enough to break through this. Probably. No, it's not. Or else it wouldn't be in that. Oh, they wouldn't put them in the cage that they could like, easily break out of. Like, I've got the oh, eye of it. Ooh. She called you a pot chaser. It's looking at me like it's like I'm dinner. Okay, I'm getting uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Wait, the pie <sighs> parrot. They knew Ty and I were coming here, so they put this one here specially for us. Thank God. Hand painted. True ally. Imagine there's just Chanel logos all over it. We're about to go on a safari. Polly wants a white cloth. Polly wants <laughs> six white cloths. <laughs> Look at the emus. That's a flamingo, but it's in a black outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, emu. How many this is Morris. He's a porcupine. Wait, don't they like shoot their quills? If they get scared. Kendall and Bella enjoying a light snack. See you. See you in <laughs> Paris. <last laughs> <week>. <laughs> we need to go feed them from that first. Sorry, but once he's actually our, big, our best uh, puzzle solver of the two brothers, right he knows that the bucket of cookies is up in the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> give it to him, give it to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bella Hadid in the flash. Once they finish with the brows, they do get a couple of cookies. Oh. Now, these two guys that we have right here are actually half brothers. They have the same dad, different moms. They got here to us. When they were six months and about a year old. Oh, wow. Her parents, uh, their, uh, their father is actually a 19 year old. Oh my god! Another one ends. In fact, because of that, their name, uh, the name of a Zebra Stampede is called the Dazzle. On the other hand, if you guys look on my right hand side, on that hillside, there are some animals there. Oh, it's a few antelope species that will actually try to fight their predators rather than try to run away from them. As you guys can see, they just push the zebra right now. Not everybody, not just anybody does that. It has the same name. destinations across the globe made possible by our dedicate are so important to us let's go through some in-flight instructions so we can get you safely on your way first make sure your seat is out if your electronic device falls okay. into your into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips 